here. Okay, today I'm going to be taking out stains from silk fabric without washing afterwards. Yes, silk guys, that's what's next. Alright guys, so I'm doing a series of videos right now of subjects that I think I wanted to address that were important to me, that I think are going to be very important to you as well. And this is the second video in that little series of things I'm going to be showing you. And the first one I don't want you to miss, it was my 2020 Paris Couture Fashion Show review of what's going on in the industry now with the, with the main houses of couture. And I'm going to have a link to that in the description description box below. Please don't miss it if you, ha if you haven't seen it already. Also, if you really want to get the nitty gritty of fashion design and learning the basics, I will have the series below in the description box as well about making your first garment, which is the sloper block dress and the six part series of that. That will also be there. Very, very important. But this is kind of been bugging me for a while. I've been wanting to do this video for a while. And let me tell you guys, it's a little tricky. I'm going to be doing it on silk. And um, usually if you're working on silks or wools, you won't have the chance to actually wash that layer uh, to get the residual out or to get that you know watermark out. So it's a little trickier than, than the other stain removal videos that I have seen. I've done some research. I've seen a lot of them. I have to tell you, a lot of those do, methods do not even work. I've experimented on my own, almost killed ourselves with the ammonia. I've got the windows open right now so that we can continue this. I'm going to show you four different stains on silk and how to get it off effectively. And let's get started. Okay guys, before we get started, I don't want you to forget to subscribe. That's that little SC on the right side of your screen. Please click on that and subscribe. All right guys, let's get started. I want to do the hardest one first because I want to give it enough time to actually uh, be able to come out. And that's lipstick. We're going to go ahead and put that line of lipstick just like that on, on the fabric. This is a Silk Dupioni. And we're going to start with this process with straight alcohol, isopropyl alcohol, 91%. You want to get as high as you can. I'm going to put that in this little dish right here just so it's easy for me to work with. And I'm going to be using a toothbrush to start with the process. I'm dipping it in the alcohol and I'm going to just put it on that stain right there. And I'm going to work it out, work it out. Just work it out in circular motions. I want to loosen um, the stain on the fiber itself and I'm just going to keep working it out like this. You can see that it's already starting to come out and I'm going to be using cheesecloth to just blot it and push it off the actual fabric as much as I can. I'm going to keep working that out. Just keep working it out like that. And if it's not going to work out with just the straight alcohol that you have here, then we have to do another mixture. Just a tiny bit of water, like that, and um, a tiny bit of dishwashing detergent or a degreaser, because that is a form of oil or grease. Hey, okay, with the water and the detergent, the uh, dishwashing detergent, I'm mixing it with my spoon, and then I'm going to spoon it on the actual stain itself, like that. And I'm going to try to work that out further with the, um, with the toothbrush. I'm just kind of making a little emulsive, little pasty look here. I'm going to keep working in a circular motion, trying to get it off the fiber. As you can see, it's, it's, it's coming out. It's getting better. And I'm just going to continue that process. And because it takes a while for this type of thing to come out, I'm going to let it sit there for a while and do the next stain. So I've got a, quite a bit on there like that. And I'm just going to let it sit for a moment. Okay? And now we're going to do the next one, which is a ink stain. I'm going to go ahead and put a line for ink just like that. And that we're going to use the straight alcohol. And let's show you that. It literally lifts it immediately. 
and it just completely lifts it up. You want to put paper towel underneath. You want to move it occasionally because you want to be able to um, not have it continue to stain. So you want to just take it out, put new paper towel immediately afterwards because that's already bleeding through. So you want to take that out like that. And you can see it's already lifting. So just straight alcohol, as long as it's a very high percentage, like 91%, will take out your ink stain on silk. The other beauty about this is, guys, alcohol will evaporate. So you're not going to get that, that ring that you normally would see. But if you do, you would. I'm going to show you what we're going to do about that. I'm going to continue to put some of this here. I just want to put a large amount of that on there so that it continues to work it out. I'm gonna put some more paper towel underneath that stain so I can let it uh, work further. Okay, so you can see this one, the ink came out, the lipstick is almost out. The next thing I'm going to show you, if you're gonna be working you know, in a factory or in your own little um, design house, is oil. Oil, but that pain in the neck oil, right? So this is machine, sewing machine oil. I'm just going to put a, a big dot there like that. And the first thing you want to do is just be able to blot out the excess, just like that. Just blot out the excess as much as you can. You don't want, you know, any extra there. And then the old school was using baby powder, but I'm going to go ahead and use baking soda. I'm going to take a little scoop of it on my teaspoon and I'm just going to put it on top of that stain like that. Um, the whole point of this is that it, it needs to absorb the, um, the oils and just leave it there for a little bit and we're going to go to the next stain and the next stain is chocolates. Valentine's dollar store stuff. I'm going to bite a little piece of this out and I'm going to, hmm, that's good stuff. I'm going to just make a little chocolate stain on my silk like that. Just make that nice little chocolate stain. With the chocolate stain, all right, if it's, if it's fresh chocolate, you want to first get a, get a uh, cloth. This is a cheesecloth. I have some water on it. And I'm trying to pull up as much as I can with the cheesecloth first and wipe it out because sometimes if it's very fresh, it will, it'll come out um, very easily um, with the water itself. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that, like that, as much as I can. Okay. Then we have to do another little um, change over here, and that is like equal parts of water, let's say a teaspoon of that, and of dishwashing liquid, like that, and vinegar guys, white vinegar. So I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of white vinegar in there very quickly. And now I'm going to mix that around like that. And then I'm going to pour that solution on top of it as well. And I'm going to let it drench in that. And then I'm going to work, work it out more in the circular motion. You can use your toothbrush if you want, or just the cheesecloth that I have here, just to get it completely out like that. Work it that in a circular motion, and it's almost completely out like that. Just keep going in a circular motion like that. And the beauty of this, again, like I said, we're working with, with chemicals that hopefully do not need to um, have it washed afterwards, but you can also, if you're able to wash it, that's also, that's also a plus. And I'm taking it out and that's almost completely out as well. I'm going to move my paper towel underneath so you can see. And I don't want to, and then I'm going to shake out now where that oil stain was. So I'm going to go ahead and take this like this and I'm going to shake it out and I'll be right back. I, I shook it out like that and you have um, you still have like a little sh shape there. And if you do, then you want to just use that same water and dishwashing solution like this. Because you want to try to fan out, now that you took the, most of the oil out, it absorbed the oil in the baking soda, you want to then fan it out um, 
with the water. And the reason why I'm doing this is so we don't have a residual. So I'm gonna just go over that with the fanning out process. I'm still working on my lipstick. Like I said, that's the hardest one to get out. Um, with that, sometimes you can add a little peroxide with the um, alcohol that you have there on the first one. We can try to work that out as well with the peroxide on there and turn that out in a circular motion. So I'm gonna go, go ahead and do that in a circular motion. It's almost completely out. As you can see, like that. And that would have to sit a little bit longer. All of it came out, okay? All of it came out. That's just showing from underneath. So I think we're, we did good. And so now what you wanna do is, so that you don't have that watermark and you don't have all these different things. I'll take a little piece here, more of my cheesecloth, and I'm gonna go like that. And I'm just going to wipe it in an outward kind of motion so I don't get a complete ring. And then once you have all of that the way it is, so it's not just in a little circular, you know, little, you wanna kind of push it out a little bit so you don't have one little shape. Then you're gonna to have to take your blow dryer, not a hot, but you wanna make it in a cool setting and then just blow dry it like that. We're gonna go blow dry the stains so we can see how that works. And like I said, the beauty is the alcohol which will evaporate. I'm going to keep going so it's completely dried out. Okay, so here is the fabric. The stains are essentially gone, and um, it's always a plus if you're able to put it in the washing machine, but if you're not, keep working them to get that ring out by adding more of the liquid and spreading it out in a fan position, and then um, actually doing like a cool blow drying effect on the fabric itself. So I hope you like this video. I hope it was, it was helpful to you. If it is, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. Do not forget to subscribe guys. Do not forget to subscribe and let me know in the comments what you want to see next so I can be geared up to you. And thank you for watching. Bye-bye.